Hello, you're welcome to a new tutorial series. So today we are going to be discussing and demonstrating how to convert speech to test in Python. So we're going to be making use of the speech recognition library. So whenever we want to use the speech recognition library, we can be able to transcribe audio recordings to test programmatically. So I'm going to give you a demo and I'm going to show you how you can work around that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to install the speech recognition library. So you can see from my interface, I have the pip installed speech recognition for Windows and as well for Ubuntu. So we have two ways for which you can based on your operating system. So and as well, you can visit the uh, OK, so you can visit the website. This is it. You can read more on the speech recognition library. You can check through the documentation and read more on what the speech recognition library is. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can transcribe an audio files. So we're going to get the text that is inside that particular audio files. So let me move right into the code. So we need to import this library this speech recognition as sr okay so we already imported this library so next thing is use the sr that's recognize that's recognizer so i need to call that particular method so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to define a function this particular function is where I can read in the data and I'm going to use this method that we defined above. So with that particular method, I'm going to pass it through the file that I'm going to use. So which is going to convert that particular audio to test. So let me write a function now. Let's call it conversion. So let me pass in some arguments. Let's use the weights. So let's add this audio file. So, okay, so I'm going to pass in the file argument. So, this is whereby I'm going to use, I'm going to pass in the file I'm making use of. That is, this particular file is going to go through in this uh, particular method here. So let me just print question file. I can use something else. Okay, so next thing is let's define a audio test. So we're going to use this particular how that is the SR that's recognizer now. So we're going to use the how dot listen. Let's pass in the how dot listen, then I pass in the source. So the source is coming from this audio file. So it's going to read that particular audio file. So I'm going to do converting. Let me just print something like I'm converting the test now. Converting audio test. So let me just print that. So now I'm going to do recognize again so r dot recognizer again so i'm going to do r dot recognize then i'll use recognize google then i'm going to pass in this particular thing that i, that I defined here which is the audio test after it has listened so audio test now I'm going to pass in the language. So language is equal to lang. So I'm still going to explain all this after I'm done with this. So this is just to tell me like um what uh, the file I'm using, I need to pass in a particular language for it. So but let me let's just move on. So let's do print test, or maybe let's define an empty list. To define it, 
here. As you can see, so we're going to put in the test that has been converted inside a particular entry list. So what we need to do next is just in case possibly the audio file it doesn't recognize it, or maybe something is wrong with the recognize Google, possibly it's not working. So we need to have something like a try except so just in case it can be able to catch that particular error. So under this, um, let me just add it over here. So let's add it under the recognize Google. So hold this to under hit. So let's use the accept below. So just in case this recognize Google whereby it is not transcribed at all. So it is going to print. So let's say sorry, run again. Okay. So now I'm done with that. So I need to do if name. Let's use the if name is equal to main. If name is equal to main. And now I'm going to call my I'm going to call my function. So, okay, so when I'm calling my function from A, so you can see I pass in the file and I pass in the language. But before we move in further, I need to explain what, um, what the particular language is. Whenever we are trying to transcribe any test, or I'm sorry, whenever we are trying to transcribe any audio to test, the language you are going to be of the file we are trying to transcribe needs to be specified. Just in case you are trying to transcribe an audio file which is in English, you need to use the particular English format for it. Let's say the file is in French. So you need to specify this particular file you want to transcribe is a French, is in French format. So this is why this lang is there. So let's say the test I'm bringing in, sorry, the audio I'm bringing in, um, this is actually in English. So I'm going to put in the English um, particular format for this. And also, if the audio I'm bringing in is in French, so I'm going to pass in the French um, format, which is the argument at this particular lang. So I'm going to implement both, that is both English and French, just for us to understand how the speech recognition library works. So now that I already pass in, that is now I already call in my function, whereby I have the file and language. So what I'm going to do is, this particular file, I'm going to locate that file in my directory. So I'm going to point to it. As is, this is the name of the file I want to pass in, which is the audio file. So I'm going to specify it inside here. And now, and I'm as well going to specify the lang. And as well, I would like us to, whenever we're working with this particular lang, you can as well check the documentation to see the different languages you want to work with. Let's say English. So this is with, let me scroll up. So we can check the English. So let's say I want to um, transcribe an English file, an audio file, which is in English. So, okay. So I'm going to, you can see, so this is English Indian. We have English India, we have English Highland. So you can see all these different formats they are there. So this is just to tell me like, this is the particular English I'm trying to transcribe. So, and as well, if I want to use the, um, let's say French, so you can see for French, this is what I'm going to pass in inside the lang. So if I'm doing, uh, let's say if I'm doing another French for Belgium, this is what I'm going to pass in for that particular thing. So I'm going to put in the link below for us to look at the different languages we have. So just in case we have our audio files that we want to transcribe. So now let's just run this code and see um, the results it's going to bring in for us. So let me check in my file from the directory. So, okay, I have this file. So let's pass it in. 
Then the English I'm going to be using is going to be I say E N is equal to I N. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So and as well for French, I think French is um F R then dash C A. So I'm going to check for that as well. So this is what we have here. So we need to let's run this cell and see the results. There's an error here. This error is not defined. I haven't run this. I haven't run this cell yet. So let me run it again. Okay, and as well, I didn't print. I didn't print what the empty list is going to return. So I need to run this again. So now you can see this is the test that is breaking for me. So this is what the uh, my audio file contains. So this is particular test my audio file contains. So it is thank you for choosing the Olympus dictation management system. So this is what my audio file contains, and this is what is transcribing for me. So and okay, let me check for this before we move into the French part. So let me check. So now let's check for French as well. That is, we pass in the language format as French. So I'm going to use an audio file which is in French to convert this particular to transcribe that file. So now I'm going to use the French format. The French format we checked earlier was F R C A. Let's confirm that. So this is fr-ca so this is it we have the fr-ca so that's what we have and i'm going to change the file that is the audio file so before we transcribe this file yeah okay this is the audio file name for the french parts okay. so this audio file is actually in french so this is going to convert this particular audio file to the French language. So let's draw this cell. Yeah, so this is what we have inside our audio file. So that is everything about speech recognition library. So you can as well explore and try to check more things on how the speech recognition library works. So you can put in more things or maybe improve it more just to see um how you can maneuver it to what you exactly want to do so i hope this tutorial was helpful please i would like you to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and as well subscribe to my channel and as well you click on the notification button i would love to see you next time